Greetings everyone, it's Ken, hope you're doing well. So today I return from the lab once again with another review of the plethora of VPNs out there clamoring for your hard earned dollar. Under the microscope today is Bitdefender and hopefully when I'm done the review they won't be a uh, bit defensive. And when I'm in the lab, I make sure that every VPN is tested against the rigorous standards of the Mount Rushmore of VPN awesomeness, a little system that I created to help you, my loyal viewers, understand what it is is most important about a VPN and makes it good and worthy of your hard-earned dollar. The fact is, there are so many features out there, I figured that it would be really good to narrow it down to like the top four things that you should look for, and if a VPN meets these criteria to your satisfaction, then it might be worthy of your time and your money. And those four things on the Mount Rushmore VPN awesomeness are number one, the ease of use. What have they done with the platform to make it easy for you, the customer, to do the things that you want to do with the VPN? And is it compatible with all of the OSs that exist out there? Because if it's not, then that might be problematic for you. And speaking of problems, if you happen to run into one, what's the customer support like? What are they gonna do to make sure that you can continue to use it the way you would like to use it and not have crazy delays and lag in getting answers? Two is security. Security. It's a VPN, a virtual private network. So the whole essence of it is the idea that they want to keep you safe and anonymous. So what is a company doing to assure that that is happening, that you know with confidence that you're going around and they're not logging anything, that there are DNS leak protections, a kill switch in case of an emergency with the VPN dropping out, so many things other than encryption that keep you extra, extra anonymous and secure. Thirdly is performance. It's great to have security and an easy system to use, but if it's not fast and doesn't perform well and doesn't have features that allow you to stream and get through the geo blocks and geo restrictions that I've talked about in previous videos, then that could be problematic. So is it fast? What can you do? What can't you do? And lastly, value. With all those three things mentioned, are you getting your money's worth? Do they have a free trial to test it out or a money back guarantee if you take the plunge and want to get your money back because you're unsatisfied? And of course, if for whatever reason Bitdefender does not live up to the standards of the Mount Rushmore of VPN awesomeness, Ken has your back, will always have a recommendation or two for you as well as coupon codes and discounts to make sure you get the best deal possible because I want to save you money. So step into the ring, Bitdefender. Your time has come. Fortunately for Bitdefender, when it comes to ease of use, the number one slot on the Mount Rushmore of VPN awesomeness, they are that. It is a relatively easy system to use, and it's relatively easy to navigate as well. And unfortunately, that's where the pros kind of start to take a turn. There are a few bright spots. It is compatible with a lot of OSs, and the customer support actually was really, really disappointing. Talk about not being able to get information from a company on what is important to you. It was almost quite ridiculous how little there was available informationally as well as support for what wasn't there. Security-wise, the encryption is tight, so you don't have to worry about that. It's secure there. Didn't detect any DNS leaks. They don't have a kill switch, so keep that in mind if that's important to you. And the other thing that I also noticed is that it seemed to be almost a clone of Hotspot Shield's VPN engine. And there is a review of Hotspot Shield for you to check out should you want to dig deeper on this. But the main problem with that is if it is a clone of it, as I suspect it might be, there's a questionable log policy going on. For those who are unaware, it's good for VPNs to have a no log policy. And a log obviously keeps track of all the things you do while using the VPN. And a no log policy means that they are trashing that data as soon as it exists. Some companies will hold it for 30 days and use a limited amount of it. But when it came to Hotspot Shield, there was a little bit of a question. It's a similar type of model with Bitdefender. So with Bitdefender, if you want total guaranteed anonymity, it may not be the one for you. Performance wise, well, despite being able to unblock about half of the servers that we tested, being friendly to peer to peer torrenting, they were slower than a whole pond full of turtles. Oh my goodness. I mean, what's the point of having all these other wonderful features if you just can't do anything and you're sitting there counting the minutes for your download or your stream is pausing or getting fuzzy in the midst of it on Netflix? It was really, really disappointing in that regard. And value wise, well, I guess 
it's going to be hard for me to tell you that it's a value if it's not fast and it's not totally secure and you can't get customer support, not really worth your time or money. And although it's actually cool that they have a free trial with a 200 megabyte cap per day, that's kind of the most you're gonna get on the value is not paying for it for a few days. So it seems like Bitdefender's gonna get a bit defenseless because I don't recommend them. Too many drawbacks using this VPN. And yes, it's cheap, secure to a degree, and even easy to use, but it's also slow, like I said, and locks a lot of the essential features that make up for a recommendation from the Mount Rushmore of VPN awesomeness. As an alternative to Bitdefender, I have two recommendations, ExpressVPN and NordVPN, and check the description for links to both of them, as well as any coupon codes or discounts that I have to save you money beyond what's on the internet, because I care and I want to put that coin back in your pocket for other cool things. So coming in at number one is ExpressVPN. If you've watched previous videos, you know that I love ExpressVPN. They are simple the best VPN out there overall. So if you just want to get the best, go with Express. Speed test wise, I compare every other VPN on the market to Express because they are simply the fastest. They're always coming out on top. So as opposed to Bitdefender, who's slow, 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 Express is just that. And that means you are not going to have any issues torrenting. Express is also going to knock through all those geo restrictions and geo blocks from streaming services like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Hulu, BBC player and hundreds of others and don't worry about getting penalized for downloading or streaming too much because Express opens it up with unlimited bandwidth as far as anonymity and security is concerned military grade encryption has your back there no matter what you're doing online they have you locked down they also allow you to use their app on up to five different devices simultaneously and speaking of the app it is award-winning so kudos to them for creating an app that had you the customer in mind so you can operate it with no hitches or glitches and if for some reason you run into an issue they have 24 7 live chat and they are there for you they also have a 30 day no questions asked money back guarantee and if you decide to get express like i said check the description i've got links and coupon codes to save you money so if you're just looking for the best vpn overall go with express second top choice would be nord nord vpn is geared more towards people who have security and anonymity in mind as the top of their list although they're not as fast as express nord has this really cool double VPN feature that masks your IP address a second time. So while other VPNs take your IP address, cloak it once when you request data from whatever server in whatever country you may be in, and your goal is to access something that may not be available for a number of reasons, including licensing restrictions, so on and so forth. What Nord does is cloaks it a second time. So rather than making it seem like it's coming from a different location from where they make it seem like it's coming from two different locations. So you get a double layer of security there. They also allow you to use their app on up to six devices simultaneously so you get one more than express and just like express it's really easy to use their support is also excellent and for torrenting unblocking netflix and all the streaming sites nord has your back there as well so if you don't mind sacrificing some speed and performance as compared to express to save a few bucks and make yourself extra secure and anonymous then nord vpn would be the way to go and once again check the description for links to both of them as well as coupon codes so i can save you money beyond what's on the internet because Ken has your back, always. So Bitdefender, it's all right. Maybe you'll get him next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I also appreciate your thumbs up because validation is cool and you make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Thank you so much. Also making me warm and fuzzy inside is getting to interact with people who share the common interests that I have and seeing your thoughts and questions and ideas. And I love to interact with as many of you as possible. So keep doing it. Everybody stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video.